It's your boy Gruff here back with another video and today I got a special video guys man today we're going to be checking out um Android 18 now um checking out the reason why I wanted to check her out was because of the leader slot the boost system thing you guys know they implemented the boost system thing and if you check on the um pvp list you can see like the z tier bonus the s tier bonus the a tier the b tier and if you go to the z tier she is on the z tier now the reason why i wanted to check her out is because of her universal support now she's basically the best support in the game she has the best support but she's just not viable but since she's on the z tier she's getting like 40 percent damage inflicted and 35 to both defense so Looking at her unique ability, you guys see that while she's on the battlefield, she reduces enemy Dragon Balls when they switch. She has ways of delaying Dragon Balls, right? And um, she, her universal is healed depending on their battle style of your allies, which switches to standby gives these buffs. Now, each battle style does restore health, but like say melee gets strike damage range, get blast, support gets something else, and then um, defense gets like damage inflicted buffs. So, yeah, um, green card, she has a way of restoring her vanish. Um, blue card is pretty solid. And I just wanted to try her out because she's on the Z tier list. And I just wanted to see, like, can she really rock well on the Androids team? Because Androids is still kind of needing a new red. Like, Revival Cell is good. But I don't, I don't like Revival Cell. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to rock her there. And then also we're going to rock her blue 21 most of the matches because she does give great support to uh, android and then the fact that android 2018 is a girl she gives more damage and also we rock the ll cell because ll cell is on the a tier so he's getting more damage afflicted buffs from the a uh, boost tier and then the fact that he also can destroy dragon balls and do cell things right i kind of wanted to reuse cell and this is the equipment that i rock up for them and everything you guys want to know curious to see what equipment i'm using for them and yeah so we're just hopping into the first match Facing up against Slain, right? Slain is Rock Revival Gohan on the Fusions. Whew, man, the Fusions team, right? Like, I've been seeing Revival Gohan like everywhere on everybody's leader slot because he's just so good, right? He has the revival mechanic. He just, he does, he's the best revival unit out of the four, out of the four that we have, I believe, four or five. So, Yep, I got him in the combo. I just wanted to see Andrew's 18 damage. And look at her damage. Look at the damage she's doing against the Revival Gohan, bro. Uh, we popped the blue. Look at his damage. Almost like... It's like 65, 75% of his health, bro, from Andrew 18. That was really impressive, not gonna lie. So, he gets me there. What he, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to... I can't really initiate because I have all strikes in my hands, which kind of sucks. And I don't want to go to the mid-range area and tackle because I feel like he knows what I'm going to do. But we was able to get him to sidestep and was able to initiate the revival with LF Cell. So he loses Dragon Balls, loses Key, um, all that stuff. So I was able to play. I'm able to tackle because he has zero Key and stuff. But he does the right thing. And I'm just chilling, just trying to see if I can get him again. But all he does is just... Every time I sidestep, he goes forward and taps. So what I should have done is when he does that, I should have back floated to see if he like over tapped. But I didn't. I wasn't really adjusted to his play style, so I dodged there. I'm um, just trying to see if I could get Gogeta. But the way he plays is he only does one sidestep and attacks immediately. So I'm just chilling, and I'm like, all right, let's go to Cell so I can destroy the Dragon Ball. And I'm just trying to heal. I'm just trying to get to my bandage gauge, right? But. He, he's just playing aggressive, which is a smart thing to do. I think I think he was catching on to see what I was, I was doing, but um, going here, I thought I got the combo, but it didn't work. Uh, I was a little bit too late. Uh, like I said, I was able to destroy his Dragon Ball because he swapped out. So, like I said, I'm delaying his Dragon Balls. Like, it's hard for him to initiate with his Dragon Balls because of Cell and 18. Like, they're both delaying his Dragon Balls, right? I just destroyed two of his Dragon Balls right there in that one sequence. So, I rushed. I was expecting him to give Gogeta blue in, but he just said he's just gonna let it go on die, which I'll take because I feel like Gogeta blue would have tanked the damage from LF Cell. But I mean, if LF Cell killed them, that would have been bad. So I, I, I just felt like he probably didn't want to take the risk, which makes sense, right? So um, pop the main just to see what I'm doing, what, to see what he's doing, and I'm just trying to get my old, like my vanish, my unique gauge up, so I can get extra damage afflicted buffs and reduce card costs and more damage, more damage afflicted buffs. 
but he does go in with uh cell and i popped the blue card because i thought he was going to like initiate but it didn't work out right um and then he's, he's just doing a lot of damage uh <laughs> gogeta doing a lot of damage so i think he popped his main i think he popped his main that's why so he nullifies against purple he's going to shred through cell's defense and yeah, so 18 kind of, she kind of tanks this. So, I mean, not, it's not the best tanking, but, you know, like I said, you just keep swapping in with her and you just keep getting your health back. So, you can't really complain there. I popped the green just to see if we can just go. But I forgot that Gogeta Blue was on standby. I thought he still had more timer counts left on his thing. But he pops the blue. And what I'm trying to do is just initiate because I know that he just swapped out of... Um, OG to four, so let's go to 18. Cause I just want to see her damage and stuff. And look at that strike damage, bro. It's really solid, really solid. And if she does get a Zen card, like everybody's gonna rock her on her on the leader slot. Like Regen is gonna rock her, God Key, every team is gonna rock her because she has that universal heal and just makes every other unit on um, her, her every other ally, every, all her allies just stronger because she heals and gives damage inflicted buffs, which is amazing. It's it's like it's really ridiculous. And then she also has a way to delay Dragon Balls, right? So that's really great as well. So getting hit by Gogeta 4. And I'm just, you know, just waiting for him so I can just finish the game. And then we get Cell, right? And look at Cell strike damage from the, the buffs from 18 and 21 is making him do this. And then also the, the buffs from the boost tier system as well. And then he's a green and then he's a Saiyan. So Cell is going to do crazy damage. So good first match really really good first match right there 18 did pretty did really impressive um like i said delaying the dragon balls giving support buffs it was amazing it was amazing right so go there hop into the next match facing up against a gt team right so um he does have a zenkai 3 purple goku which he should have gotten a zenkai 6 so purple goku is just so good bro i had I, I even spent some cc to get him up to Zenkai 6 because I just feel like they they just been giving GT so much love and hopefully I pull Gogeta 4 soon bro and then hopefully I can get like more stars on like the kid Blue Goku and my Jew so I can just start rocking um GT because GT I believe GT is a top five team in the game in my opinion but so anyway let's get back to it uh he's doing damage right so I just go into Blue 21 uh I should probably should have went to sell but uh, I think this one, I just wanted to get the damage inflicted buffs from 18 and 21 because they swapped like really, really quick from each other. And I probably should have attacked immediately. I said a side stepping twice in a row. Uh, I just thought that he was going to be eager to attack me, but he played it smart. He played it really, really well. And he stays. I was expecting him to switch so I can destroy his Dragon Balls, but he stays, right? I don't think he's this scared of Android 18 because he's old. And uh, I just don't think he, he was just scared. I just don't think because. Like, if I was going to switch, it was going to be Blue 21. But Blue 21 tanked it better than um, <laughs> 18, right? Um, this is a prat, like, it's kind of crazy, right? So I go here. I pop this. was able to get the combo off. So I'm going here. And what I'm trying to do is I was trying to kill this Goku before Super Saiyan 4 Goku came in. So I can kill him with, like, my cards. And then I can kill, um, then I can save my rest later, right? So I go here. I'm thinking that Gogeta 4 it's not going to come back, but he does come back. You guys see it right there. Like, I was generally surprised that Gogeta 4 came back. I thought he was still in timer counts, but we still did a lot of damage, though. So, just chilling here, dodge, wait for him to sidestep. But I just wanted to tap out just in case. I think he goes for a yeah, strike, a full strike. He was expecting me to do a tackle, but he messed up. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to rush real soon. I just want to get this last strike card in on Shenron, and then let's rush. Um, yeah, so I want to take Shenron out because Shenron is just annoying. His green card can give you, what, paralysis, I believe, and then his blue card AoE destroys card. This Shenron is just annoying. His main ability, I believe, takes away your attribute upgrades. Yeah, I was just like, Shenron, you gotta go. You gotta go. So, yep, we killed Shenron. He didn't, we didn't get guests, thankfully. Um, so now we got Super Saiyan, we got GT Goku. Um, yeah, I mean, GT Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And we're just trying to kill him, right? We're just trying to kill him. Uh, and I go to uh, I swap late. I don't know why I did that. That was pretty dumb. But he pops the green, and I was expecting him to use a rust. But he goes here, and I was able to switch the cell to destroy his card. So I know that 
He doesn't have his vanish. I'm gonna make sure he uses vanish. And then he doesn't have a dragon ball, so he can't rise and rush cell. So I could e easily use my blue card and kill him. And then now we just got Goku, right? So um, I'm not worried about Goku. Um, Goku can do his thing. Zenkai 3, we have it's 3v1. He's not really a unit that can come back from a 3v1. Um, so uh, yep, go ahead. And also our health is pretty high. And if he kills 21, we're gonna heal up from heal up from her debuffs and give our Dragon Ball. So we have another shot at, at the Rising Rush. And we also it's gonna we also gonna heal up and stuff. So we scrape, you feel me? We scrape and we're getting the Dragon Balls. I, I think I already said that, but just wanted to make sure I said it again. And yeah, so I'm just making sure I get rid of his vanish. He can do his thing. Cell's taking all his damage. And I think I just go, I think I stay with Cell. And what I do is I wanted to switch out just in case he had a blue card and I didn't want him to kill Cell just for some reason. So I just went to 18 just in case he had a blue card just to be cautious. But he didn't and was able to finish it off. So 18 is just solid. She did okay, bro. Um, Like I said, destroying the Dragon Balls, delaying Dragon Balls healing and giving that damage support to her other allies is really dope um if she got a zenkai bro like i said everybody will be rocking her every team will be rocking her but the next match is really really interesting facing up against this um fusion warriors team so you guys are going to see beginning of this match i play terrible this guy is just playing amazing he's he's not messing up i'm messing up and he gets a huge lead on me, and I was, and um, I had to make a comeback. So we're just gonna take a look at this, and I'm just looking at my plays and stuff that I can do, and I'm like, dang, like, like look at Vegito Blue's damage. Um, just a lot, just so much damage. Uh, I couldn't really switch to 18, like, right? I couldn't, 18 couldn't take this full combo, so I had to kind of like mitigate some of Cell's damage to to 18, so 18 didn't take too much damage. But I'm just trying to get a combo going. But he's just playing amazing. Like he's just making the right plays throughout this the whole like throughout 40 seconds of this match, he's making the right plays. But I'm still have a lot of Dragon Balls, so I know that he has a rush real, real like real quick as well. So I'm like, all right, what I'm gonna do is attack, wait for him to sidestep, but he goes immediately. He drop combos, gets his last Dragon Ball, and he rushes. So. Mm -mm -mm. So basically, 32 time counts in, he was able to get his Dragon Balls, and I did not land one combo on him at all. I was like, yeah, like how am I supposed to come back from this? There's no way I'm supposed to come back from this, bro. Uh, he didn't hit, he didn't get one combo taken on him. He has full health on three of his units. And I'm like, all right, let's see if I can get a combo here. I'm like, 928, 934. So I'm right here, I'm kind of like ready to throw in a towel. I'm like, yeah, like. I'm finna get wrecked. I'm finna get wrecked. Um, I'm ready to like kind of just like just you know lose and just get ready to record another match for you guys. But I'm like you know what? I'm just still gonna just play it through just to see what happens, right? Just to give up. Never give up. Never give up. Um, from the lesson from this match, never give up. So he tried to get me there, right? He was trying to get me there, get me to sidestep. But I just rushed immediately. I said I need to rush him because I know that Zamas is not coming in. And I'm just praying that I don't get guessed. If I'm like, if I get guessed, the game's over. But we didn't get guessed. So he didn't guess us. And I was like, all right. So um, we are facing two Zenkai units, tanky units, tanky Zenkais versus um, an old unit and then a unit that doesn't have the best defense that has like, that's had like, you know, 30% of it, like 40% of his health. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my unique gauge so I can heal. Because Cell can heal twice off his unique gauge and his main ability. So what I'm trying to do is slowly get that up. And then 18 can also heal him as well when we switch out to Cell. So uh, I pop the main so I can get Dragon Balls, reduce card cost. And kind of similar to like LF Piccolo's unique ability, right? Reduce card cost and then, um, you know, uh, um, my goodness, card draw speed. But it's only for a little bit. It's not permanent like Piccolo's. But we're chilling here. And he gets the PV there. I'm like, oh man, like Cell, is, is, is this is it for Cell? That's what I'm asking to myself right here. But I'm like, so I'm like, I'm like you know, Cell can, Cell can survive, right? He got the A tier boost system. He still have some good defense, which he barely survived, barely. So what I'm doing here, I'm like, I need to charge my unique gauge. I need to charge my unique gauge, unique gauge, unique gauge. And I finally charged and healed up the bit. And I attacked immediately because I see him. Um, I'm glad that he sidestepped instead of going immediately. 
but um, I was able to get another card. I was like, all right, let's pop the old card because I don't want that to go to waste. He goes to Gogeta, which is the smart thing to do. The smart thing is to go to Gogeta instead of having Zamasu take all that damage. But Cell does a lot of damage still. So um, I'm like, all right, let's go immediately. Nice time stop by him. So he's able to get a free combo. But look at 18's defense. Like I thought 18 was going to get comboed, like one combo here. But from this, he tanks it. He actually tanks this um, this old card, bro. And I was actually surprised. And I was actually glad that we didn't get um that we didn't die from this. So I popped the green. I'm like, alright. I'm just trying to initiate and not get a PV'd. And I attack immediately, which was great. But he pops the green card. And I can't combo off of this. So I'm chilling here having to having to uh, get another combo. He was expecting me to sidestep, but I went immediately. Just trying to change up my play style. And I'm like, alright, let's pop the blue card. And when Gogeta comes in, I'm going to get key because every time Cell meets a new person, he gets key back. So he probably was thinking, oh, I use all my key. But Cell gets a key every time he faces a new enemy. So I was able to use the blast card. And I was able to catch him slipping and I have to use a second rush to win this match. And um, yeah, I don't feel I don't even feel bad using the second rush because it's PvP. You got to do what you gotta do to win, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do to win, right? You survival the fittest, right? So I was like, hey, I'm gonna take this win, and this is a great match for you guys to stole 18. Um, the support she does and how she works on this team. I feel like this was a good match. So hopping into the last match, facing up against a green, green, yellow Saiyans team. So I didn't bring blue 21, could have been a dumb idea to bring blue 21 in here because we're facing two greens, two strong greens, two of the best greens units in the game, right? So that would be dumb. So I brought 17 instead. I switched to sell, but he combo dropped, which was a smart play. Which was a really smart play by him. But I caught him lacking here with Angel and Gita, right? So do my little damage, and then I just go to 18 to pop the blue card. But he goes to go Gita, which I don't think it was the best idea because I popped his 80% uh, damage already. So, um... I feel like that kind of sucked for him, but I popped the green right here, just trying to destroy some of his special moves and stuff that he has, because eight, um, 17 is just goaded. Able to draw a blue card with him when he pops the main and gets permanent card draw speed. And this blue card is gonna come in effect. Um, so we're gonna pop the blue card right here, get that damage, right? Um, it does some good damage, because he has a three-star Angel Vegeta. So um, he's not gonna do the best tanky. If he had more stars, then that damage would have done nothing, but uh, look at the damage that 18 does. 18 does some really crazy damage, but like I said, it's a eight star, it's a three star Angel Vegeta. But um, she was putting in some work, bro. I got you know what I'm saying. I, I got I got to talk about it, right? And I, I see combo drop right there. I wasn't trying to. It got a little bit laggy, but I'm glad that it worked out for me. And I'm just chilling here. He did the side step thing, which was really smart. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to wait. To see if he's gonna use his rush. I'm scared to go into cell because I'm thinking that he's gonna use his rush. So I'm just trying to go in when he's going about going for another card so I can destroy his Dragon Balls. And then the fact that I landed it, that he uses a blast card, I was able to use a blue card. And look at that damage that Cell done. Cell did the Super Saiyan 3. Then I seen him going for a full range blast. I was ready to use the rush. And then bam. And I got Super Saiyan 3 Goku out of here because we didn't get gas. And it's a 3v1 so yeah my thoughts on 18 though as this is about to wrap up is she does solid like the fact that she fits well on the androids team but she just needs more buffs she just needs more buffs i feel like if she was to get a zenkai um she would be the missing piece for androids bro because uh like they need a really good red um but if she does get a zenkai everybody Excuse me. Everybody and their mom was gonna rock them on their teams. Regen, God Keys, Saiyans, hybrids. I mean not hybrids, right? But everybody every like movies, everybody's gonna rock her because of that universal buffs. So if she does get a Zenkai, she might be the most used character for the leader slot, in my opinion. So yeah, it's kinda of a little bit tricky to see are they actually gonna Zenkai or not, but if they do, she's gonna be amazing. So right here, the game is about to be over. And I go to sell. I think I go to sell right here, um, or in the next combo, just to rack, just to uh, finish things up. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think about uh, Red Android 18 and what she did here. Um, will she be busted as a leader slot if she got a Zenkai? Like, 
Will she be the most used leader slot character for Dragon Ball Legends? Most likely, I believe so. But it was really dope using her. I didn't get to use her when she first came out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. It's been rough, man. And I'm out. Peace.